Kuno, Kuno, Apo, Pano. Mamu wanna get it. Mamu wanna get it. Right, 19 July 2021, and today I'm going to be continuing. As I said yesterday, we have a lot to talk about, and I would like to help as many people as possible so that they do not end up in the situation where they die from COVID. And I want to make it clear from the beginning. We are only at the beginning. COVID is going to be mutating. So I want you guys to understand what I'm saying now. COVID is going to be mutating and it is going to continue to kill people. So what is going to happen is that in the UK right now, they've opened up. They've got a Delta or another variant which they can manage what is going to happen is one day they are going to wake up let's say in the united states and there's going to be a variant that they cannot control and people are going to die so there is however a simple way of preventing yourself from dying from covid and i'm very happy that some of the people that i've been talking to some of the people that have been assisting me here in south africa especially medical professionals when i was sitting with medical professionals they were showing me how covid works especially when i was in hospital and i want to start by showing you a demonstration because when i went into hospital there were three people that i worked with i worked with a physician I worked with a physiotherapist and then I worked with a dietitian. However, the most important person that worked with me was the physiotherapist. So I want to show you this gadget. A person that has got COVID, when the physiotherapist is treating you, they cannot, see these three balls, they cannot suck in these balls. So the first thing that they do after they revive you and you're starting to recover is to teach you how to breathe. So look at the screen. You see it says, how does COVID-19 kill you? COVID kills you by making it impossible for you to breathe. So everything that I'm going to tell you today, if you ever catch COVID, based on what the professionals that I was working with showed me. You should remember, do not allow yourself to get to a point where you cannot breathe. And I'm, go I'm going to show you how not to get to that point. So le let me start by demonstrating this to you. Very, very interesting. There are three balls here. And the first test which you, get, you are given if, when you're in a hospital and you're with the physiotherapist is to suck up these three balls. So if I come here and I go, right, that is three balls that I've sucked up. A person that has got COVID cannot suck up those three balls. Right, so remember what I just said. If COVID attacks you, it gets into your lungs. And then it starts compressing the space in your lungs. And you can no longer breathe. You can no longer suck the balls that I just showed you now. The job that we have is to prevent COVID from getting into your lungs. So remember what I just said. COVID kills you by getting into your lungs and then compressing the space in your lungs so that you cannot breathe. Once you cannot breathe, you are gone. So let's now go into the, the, the step by step. I want to go into the step by step. But before I go into the step by step, today we've got a fundraiser. So there's some expenses that we need to cover. And I've put in a fundraiser. So if you are sending money through Western Union, send it to Pardon Gambakwe. Or if you're sending it through e-wallet, you can send it through 
that number. That is on the, the, the South African number. There are some expenses that we need to cover that we incurred. Also, the fact that I was unable to broadcast when I was in, um, in, in the hospital, it means we have a lot of expenses that we need to cover. So let me take you through the process. Listen very, very carefully because COVID is not over. COVID is going to change. So what is going to happen is that next year, there will be a certain type of COVID that is different from what we have now. That COVID is going to catch you, even if you're vaccinated. Because the way these variants work, they are different. So if I get infected by Delta, and then maybe the a sigma comes, it is going to affect you. But the concept remains the same. Do not allow the virus to go into your lungs. So if you allow the virus to go into your lungs, you're gonna die. How do you then prevent the virus from getting into your lungs? So let's take it step by step. And I made this mistake. So I want you to remember this mistake that I made. Do not get cold. Number one, when you start feeling symptoms of COVID, no matter where you are, let's say you've got a little space in your house, there's no shed, there's no sun, there's no, no way for you to go. Do not get cold. Make sure that at all times your temperature is high. So keep your windows closed. Make sure that you are wearing warm clothes and at no point allow air into your body. So if you're already sick, this is very difficult, right? Then secondly, so the first one, do not get cold. Secondly, do not lie down, especially on your back. And I'm telling you this from what the physiotherapist told me. They kept me vertical for two days. I did not sleep on my back. Do not sleep on your back. So do not allow, because when you're sleeping, the virus is now horizontal with you. Do not allow your body to be horizontal and do not allow yourself to be on your back because when you're on your back, then it's easier for the virus to go into your lungs. So that is the second thing. The first thing, do not get cold. The second thing, do not lie on your back and stay as warm as possible. So I'm going to display again our, our fundraiser. Please, if you're possible, if you're able, send any amount of money that you can send on this fundraiser, on e-wallet or on Western Union. Now, I've given you two tips as you speak, and I've also given you how COVID kills. So I want to display what I said. How does COVID kill you? COVID kills you by going into your lungs and stopping you from breathing. So once you have COVID, you can't do this. You can't lift this thing. You cannot pull these balls here. Your space in your chest is finished. The diaphragm is smaller. So the first thing that the, the physiotherapist did with me is they started to hit me here and hit me here. And then they started to hit me at the back so that they could push down the virus because the virus goes in and it closes your chest. Your chest becomes smaller and smaller. So what the physician is doing when they're treating you, they're trying to clear inside your chest. And then at the same time, they're trying to allow you to to continue to live through oxygen. That's why people get on oxygen. You are on oxygen because while you are getting your lungs back, they want you to continue to breathe, which is why they push. So there are two types of oxygen. There's an oxygen that goes here, that goes into your nostrils. And there's an oxygen that they push 
here into your, into your lungs. They push that oxygen if you are not in a very serious state. So remember, avoid getting that virus into your lungs, no matter what you do. That brings us to the most important thing that you need to do. So number one, don't get cold. Stay as warm as possible and avoid lying on your back. Then the most important and most difficult thing is you have to walk every day. So let's say you got COVID today. You have to walk every day four times. And I, I, I mean this, in the morning, you have to walk. Let's say you walk three kilometers. In the afternoon, you walk three kilometers. In the evening, you walk three kilometers. And just before you go to bed, you walk another three kilometers, if possible, if your house has got here. But remember what I said, do not get cold. If you get cold and the virus gets into your lungs, you're going to die. Now, the question you're going to ask yourself is, come back when you were in hospital, where were you walking? And I want to tell you what I did religiously. Every night when I was in hospital, I could not obviously sleep. Uh, I, I was very ill. So I could not sleep. And in the first few days, I was bedridden. So I could not see what was happening. However, as soon as I started working with my physiotherapist, I would walk out of the hospital uh, ward where I was admitted. And every day I would walk twice at night for 30 minutes. I would get out of bed. I would walk up the corridor, I walk down the corridor, I walk up the corridor, I walk down the corridor 30 times. That is how I managed to get out of hospital. I did not lie all on my back. I did not become lazy. When I could barely move my legs, I dragged myself to walk up and down. And after three days, I was able to lift these balls that I'm showing you here. It took me three days to lift these balls. So to pull these balls with my, with my mouth, like that, it took me three days of practice. But it also took me 90 minutes every night where I would wake up and walk, wake up and walk. And I would pull out my oxygen and walk without it. Because I knew that if I was stuck on the oxygen, I had a, a perimeter which was limiting me. So my job was to get out of that place within seven days and to free myself of oxygen. Right. I think, guys, let, let, let me remind you of our, our fundraiser. Please remember we've got a fundraiser. We've got money that we need to raise today. We need to raise a certain amount of money to pay certain bills. And the fundraiser is on the screen. You can also WhatsApp me here and we'll talk. And if you're able to assist here, we need to make sure that these bills are paid and we need to do it together. Right, so let me recap what I just said. This is going to save your life. COVID is not over. The COVID that you're, not, you're seeing now is not the COVID that is going to be there next year. You are going to catch this COVID or you are going to catch another. Remember the words that I said to you. Do not allow the virus into your lungs. No matter what you do, if you test positive, if you get sick, do not allow the virus into your lungs. If you've got a warm drink, that is one thing that I, I did mention here. If you've got a cup of tea, Drink it every two hours. Drink this cup of tea, but make sure that you obviously don't pile yourself up with sugar. Because in my case, my sugar was all over the place because of the injections. Make sure you do not get cold. So let, let's recap. I want to recap this for you guys. I want you to understand what I'm saying here. COVID kills you by going into your lungs 
and stopping you from breathing, making it impossible for you to breathe. So every person that you know that died of COVID, they failed to breathe because the, the virus came from here, the neck, and it went into the lungs. Then it compressed the lungs and you cannot open those lungs. I'm sure you, 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 you know a lot, but let me explain to you, my brother, within the next few years, COVID is going to transform, it's going to change. And what we're trying to do here is to help everybody. And I'm not going to stop helping people with the information that I've got. The simple fact is, do not get cold, do not lie on your back, stay very, very warm, prevent the virus from getting into your lungs. And the final thing, obviously, is that this COVID that you see is going to continue to mutate. And as it mutates, it's going to affect you in many, many different ways. It's going to catch you this time and then have a different effect. Then in December, it's going to catch you. It's going to have a different effect. If you get vaccinated, you're going to need to get vaccinated again when another new type of COVID comes. So you have to make sure that you prevent yourself from getting COVID. And the most important thing is walking. Walking every day, you have to walk. If you do not have that habit now of walking, develop that habit of walking. Right, how many minutes have I talked? I've talked for 16 minutes. And guys, you know I'm not feeling well. I'm doing my best here to stay up so that I don't lose all this information that I, give, I want to give to you. Remember what I told you when I was in hospital? I would wake up three times and walk for 90 minutes because I didn't want to lie on my back. I, do not want to, I didn't want to die on a hospital bed. I left people in the hospital who thought it was someone else's responsibility. People who, who blamed everybody else every day for something. COVID is your responsibility. Do not think there's someone else responsible. Don't allow that virus into your lungs. The COVID kills you by putting, by stopping you from breathing. And you have a duty to defend yourself. So if you do not do what I just told now, if you get cold, if you don't get warm, if you lie on your back, if you don't walk, you're going to die. And COVID is going to kill you because that is its job. Right. Let's now go to some comments. And um, I want to start with Oslin. Right, welcome back. Thank you very much, everybody. Remember our fundraiser, uh, Western Union, pardon Gambakwe. Please, guys, we've got some bills that we need to pay. Those bills are still outstanding. If you're able to send money, send to that Western Union on pardon Gambakwe so that we can clear these bills that we generated. Then I want to go to more comments. Let's see if there's anything here. Uh, Cecilia Chitaku. How are you feeling today? Let me tell you how I'm feeling today. Today I walked four times. I walked 10,000 steps and I bought weights. Today I bought my first weights. I'm going to be starting to weigh, to, 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 to lift my weights and I'll probably show you again, you guys. It's very important to be physically fit. But the most important thing is when you walk, you are going to feel a tight chest, especially if you came from hospital, and then you're going to get better. But today I walked, my first walk was at 6 a.m., my second walk was at uh, around 12, and then I had another walk at around 3 o'clock. I also took a drive. I stood in the sun for more than an hour. So when I wake up, I don't stay in, in a dark room or in a humid room. In the, at the back of my house, I go and I stand there, in the sun, I absorb uh, some sun. And I also have some multivitamins that I'm taking, uh, a number of different multivitamins that I was uh, prescribed. I take those. It's important. Your chest must be clean. It mustn't be humid. And you must walk. You must blow out that steam. So that is important to avoid the virus in your chest. 
And do not think about now only. COVID is transforming. COVID is mutating. So put it in the back of your, of your head. You have to stay healthy. Before I got sick, I used to go to the gym five times a week. I used to walk my dogs at least five times a week. But now today I walk my dog for the first time. My dog was dragging me. Uh, uh, my dogs were dragging me. They're more powerful than me. But still, I have to keep pushing. Because remember, you do not want your chest to become weak. Not for now, but for the time when you really need that strength. That's why when I was in hospital, I was able to drag myself out of bed. Because physically, my legs were strong and my chest was already strong. Right, let's go to Tari, who said COVID is a death sentence. In my information, you know, it's a fear, man. Okay, Tari, do not, do not be afraid, but do not be a sitting duck. You are responsible for your body. You are responsible for your health. Do not be a sitting duck. Follow the instructions that I have given you now. If you get COVID, do not get cold. Do not lie on your back. Do not be in a cold room. Walk four times a day. Make sure that you listen to what I'm saying. Do not be a sitting duck and do not be killed by a virus. Right, Joshua Mdenda. Yes, man, you still look at me. Of course, man, I lost like 10 kg in a week. Of course. <laughs> I, I, I do not look like I used to look, but uh, you will see. Because I am a very, very determined person. Uh, if, if you see me when I'm doing what I'm doing, when I'm here now, I'm giving you 100% of myself. I'm not somewhere else or pretending to be somebody else or planning to, to, to suffer something else. I am in control right now. And I want you guys to be in control of the situation. Erisha, how's it, bro? You said, this is very informative indeed. I wonder why government are not doing the same to conscientize people. Unfortunately, government is not able to do this. The professionals that I work with, the people that gave me this thing, their company. I was in one of the biggest hospitals in South Africa at Netcare. These guys have got a program to keep you alive. If you are in this hospital, they, have, they come. They didn't just do this for me. I saw them dragging out an old lady from bed and walking with her. Imagine that. Imagine that ability for someone to drive around all the hospitals in, in South Africa and provide the information that, that I'm giving you. The, the rubbing that I was telling you, the, the removal of sort of like cobwebs in your, in your lungs here, the heating that they do, the, the removal of, or the development of your diaphragm that they do. They walk with you. Some people have got oxygen extension when they walk. This is why I'm saying to you, these are serious people. The information I'm giving you here is from medical professionals. Right, let's go to Joshua again. Where are these types of COVID coming from? COVID mutates. When I say COVID mutates, I mean, today you've got a COVID that is like this. And then someone takes a pill, an antibiotic, and that COVID becomes resistant to that antibiotic. Or a COVID comes from India and meets a COVID that is coming from uh, UK. The two of them come together and they become um, another variant. Or another variant because of something that has happened somewhere. For example, a vaccination. You should read what they've been saying about vaccination today. As you vaccinate more people, the virus becomes clever. It is now able to escape the vaccine. So that next time when you try to put the vaccine, the vaccine is unable to prevent infection. And these are the situation that you need this information that I'm giving you. You need this information when it's no longer possible for you to protect yourself using a vaccine. You then need physical defense. Your body needs to be strong. You need that situation where you can prevent yourself from getting the virus in your lungs because all the COVIDs, they kill you in one way, by stopping you from breathing, right? I hope I, I've given a good, good explanation here. Uh, blessing Chris Banda, you say 
Dr. Ignorant Kabaku. I'm not uh, ignorant. I'm here. And I'm sure that one day you use the information that I'm giving you here. If there's one thing I wanted to use, Banda, is do not allow the virus into your lungs. Do not get caught. Do not lie on your back and walk at least four times a day. So walk at least four times a day until your chest, you can feel that your chest is strong. Until if I give you this thing, you can pull it like that. Your lungs are strong if you're like that. If you get to a point where you can't pull those balls, you're dead. You're not going to be able to, to survive because the diaphragm is gone. There's nothing here. If you cannot get oxygen for four days, you will die because it takes a number of days for the virus to clear. And while the virus is clearing, you need oxygen. So if you've got money, keep an oxygen tank in your house. There will be a day when there will be no space in the hospital for people to go in. You will need that oxygen tank in your house. So if you've got 10K or 10 grand in runs, buy an oxygen tank, keep it in your house, put a, a few tanks of oxygen in your house. Because during the time when you can't breathe, it will save you. You will be able to survive during that, that period of time. Right, let me go to um, a few more questions. Paul, thank you very much, my brother. I am giving you the information that I have got. I worked with some of the best professionals and I am here to show you the importance of listening to those professionals. Let's go to... Right, so which means you must stop drinking cool drinks, cold one, definitely. Stay away from fizzy drinks. And I, I know uh, Blessing is, you're, you're watching me. Uh, blessing, you've been helping me a lot. With another, so this is like a gorilla warfare, guys. Uh, blessing, Nyambuya, you've been teaching me a lot about how to, to stay safe, how to stay healthy, how to stay away from bad food. Guys, this is gorilla warfare. You're fighting against the virus. Stay safe. Stay away from these things that will kill you. And I want to say, Lika Ndebel, you're saying, don't attack Chamisa. If Chamisa is not careful, you won't be there uh, after this virus. This virus doesn't care whether you're Chamisa or you're in Zanupi or whatever. If, guys, forget politics. We are in the middle of a pandemic. Think about surviving and your family surviving. Okay, let me see. I'm just about to, to finish. JCTV Zimbabwe. Thank you very much, my brother. You, 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 are, you are a brother to me in ways that you do not understand. And... I want to go to the issue of ivermectin uh, while I'm still looking at um, at here. Guys, ivermectin is a very controversial topic. But in your house, have five, have ten. Keep those in your house because it's a very, very powerful drug although it's not for humans. Listen to me very, very carefully. You are responsible for your life. Nobody is responsible for your life. When COVID mutates and starts going after kids, you are going to understand what I mean. Because when it mutates, it hits people in certain ways. Then it's going to change. And if a mutant works in certain ways that I cannot explain and... I, I want to go back to Taura and Taneta. You are saying which bills? We, we do have bills that we generated when I was not around. So if you're able to send us money on Western Union, those are the details there. Are, that's our fundraiser. If you're able to do so, please do. If you're able to send money on e-wallet, please do so. Gababo Media needs to be stronger. We need a lot of financial capacity. I'm going to go out and I need to raise money, proper money, so that I can broadcast every day without having to worry about money. If you are in that position where we can do this, where we can strengthen the Baku media so that we're able to help, so that we're able to communicate to people, so that we're able to save lives, get in touch with me. Let us get this thing done because people are going to die with money in their bank. 
with, with ignorance. And the question that is on the screen, let me go back to that, that question. How does COVID-19 kill? I want that question to be answered. I want everyone to know. I want everyone how to, to know how to protect themselves to be able to live, even if that is the only thing they can do. So let us help this thing. Let, let us assist with these bills. Do not be afraid to help Gambapa Media. I'm going to be here for you. I am exerting myself right now as we speak to make sure that this information gets to you. And when you catch COVID, you do not die. Right, I am talking too much. Okay, Eddie, exercise is very important these days and not only walking, I guess. I think you were listening when I said, today I just bought my first weights. So I, I bought the weights which you put here. I bought the punch bag. I bought the dumbbells. But I still walk four times a day. COVID, there's no replacement for walking. You can't be lazy. If you're lazy, you're going to die because the virus stays in the chest and your chest must be extremely strong. It must be so strong that if you get attacked, by the time the virus clears, your chest is too alive. So there is no replacement for walking four times a day or at least 10,000 steps a day. You have to do that for yourself. Right, let me go to the last few comments, guys. Tomorrow I'll be back. Tomorrow I want to talk about vaccine. What do you do when you get vaccinated? It's going to be short, but it's going to be along the same lines. When you get vaccinated, what have you put in your body? How do you make that work together with your body? That is what we have to talk about tomorrow. Most of you guys, you do not understand why vaccination is good. We're going to go into it. Vaccination is good for you, but you can't just vaccinate and then go and sit at home. There's a program that you need to go through. And let us do it. Let us talk tomorrow so that all of you guys know that when you are vaccinated, there are certain things that you need to do. Right. Cecilia, do people with underlying conditions be able to be vaccinated, ACPP, HIV, all that? Yes, you are able to get vaccinated. Yeah. Remember, COVID is in the chest, right? You can, you'll be able to get vaccinated. But there's something that you need to do. You can't sit at home after you get vaccinated. You need to get on a program. And that is a program that we're going to be talking about tomorrow. What do you do once you get vaccinated? I want to, yes, Dev, Desire, very, very important question. Are you vaccinated? I am on the waiting list to be vaccinated, but I can't be vaccinated soon after I got COVID. If you get COVID, you have to wait three months before you get vaccinated because COVID is like being hit with the full vaccine. It's like I'm vaccinated now naturally, but it doesn't mean I'm vaccinated because remember vaccines are three or four. There, there is Pfizer, there's Johnson & Johnson, there's Sinovac, uh, there's Sputnik right now. When you get vaccinated with Pfizer, don't think you're vaccinated the same person, the same way with the person Johnson & Johnson. Don't think you're vaccinated the same way with someone Sputnik. And don't think you're vaccinated the same way with someone Sinovac. Guys, do not be ignorant. Vaccination is not the same. And the way vaccination works in your body is not the same. So you heard about the guys in, in Berengua, right? They were complaining that after they got vaccinated, they can't breathe. It's true, but it doesn't mean that vaccine is dangerous. It means there's certain things that you need to do after you get vaccinated. So this is the information that I want us to share together. And guys, the fundraiser is there on the screen. Please, if you can just donate to this fundraiser, we want to raise some money here. In fact, today, the target amount that we wanted to raise was 30,000 runs, and I hope that we'll be able to do so. So that is our fundraiser for today. Tomorrow, I'm going to bring back the fundraiser if we do not reach this target. Right, my last and final question, 20 minutes. In fact, 34 minutes. Richard, my show, Reva, I like the way you asked this question because it allows me to summarize. 
when I, I got into hospital, they put me on a bed. They made my bed sit vertically. They said, do not lie down. So for three days, I was vertical on my bed. You know why? They did not want me to lie down so that the virus can go inside my lungs. That was the first thing. Secondly, they said, do not get cold. The temperature was always high in the room where I was. Then on the fourth day, they started to do physiotherapy with me. They started to shake off the virus from my, my body. They started to give me every day, I am supposed to do this exercise. At first, I could lift one ball. Then after a, a day, two, after three days, three balls. And then they gave me an assignment. Every night, I was supposed to walk for 90 minutes. That is how I prevented the virus. But for me, of course, already the virus was in my body. Yourself, if you are not yet having the virus in your chest, make sure you walk, drink warm drinks, do not lie on your back, do not stay in a cold room, and walk like crazy over and over. Wake out and stay alive. Right, I have talked for so long, and I would like to thank everybody who was watching here and obviously i want going to, to i don't want to go into the discussion on ivermectin i said to you in your house there must be ivermectin there's a lot of information everywhere you look there's a lot of information about ivermectin your doctor is not going to prescribe it to you my doctor said no you cannot prescribe a drug for animals but do the right thing keep some of those tablets in your house. When you start feeling anything, on top of everything that I've told you, take the, 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 the amount that is required. There's a certain amount that are supposed to take. And if you Google online, you will know how much you're supposed to take. It depends on your weight. The, the heavier you are, the more you have to take. Stay alive, guys. I've given you the tools today. And it's now your chance to look forward. Because remember, you can be safe today, but in a year, the COVID is going to be totally different. When, when we had our first lockdown, I never thought I would get sick of COVID. You may be sitting at home thinking, ah, I'm safe, I'm protected. You are going to remember my face when it hits you. And I don't want you to die. I want you to survive. I want you to use the information that I've given you. Right, so let's go back to our fundraiser. Our fundraiser is on the screen. If you're on Western Union, please send to Pardon Gambakwe on Western Union. If you are in South Africa, you can send us money on e-wallet. We've got a lot of bills to pay. We also need to create capacity for Gambakwe. I want us to raise money so that Gambakwe becomes a sustainable media house and I can do only broadcasting so that I don't have to worry about what am I going to do tomorrow. Instead, I should be finding new information. I should be talking to you guys and I should be answering your, your, your phone calls. We should be making sure that this media house works 24 hours a day. So let's make this work. My fellow Zimbabweans, let's make, let's have media houses that are media houses that are strong, that are able to provide us with information. And I think we're capable of doing this. Please go on to Western Union. Please go on to e-wallet. Let's sort out this thing. This, these bills that we need to pay, they need to be paid. And then next month, we're going to go on a proper fundraiser so that Gambapo Media can have one million in the bank. And we don't worry about, where, where, where do I post a, a video here? Where do I do this here? We want to have a proper media house, which we can use to communicate, to share information and to keep ourselves alive. Right, thank you very much, everybody. And I really enjoyed talking to you today, even though I'm in this current state. So thank you very much. Tomorrow I'll be back. We'll talk about, about vaccines. How do you, what do you do? What's your vaccinated to prepare for, for a, a stronger self? Thank you very much and good night. I, I, yeah.
Ay, 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 ay,